G'day and welcome. This is How To, a spotlight series for Heroes of the Storm. Please take note that this is an alpha spotlight and I would like to state that all opinions and information shared throughout this video are subject to change. And with that, let's talk about How To Uther, or as the Aussies like to call him, a fucking legend. Who is Uther? Uther the Lightbringer. Anyone familiar with the Warcraft franchise will not need an introduction to this Hero of the Light. Once a great man, Lord Uther the Lightbringer, being the first paladin of the Knights of the Silver Hand, led his men into battle during the Second War of Azeroth. Being the mentor of the young Prince Arthur soon after, even to go as far as looking upon the Prince's family, would lead into one of the most tragic stories in Warcraft lore. Arthas betrayed Uther. Upon the prince's return to Lordaeron, the prince murdered his father with his newfound blade Frostmourne. Oh. Uther stood against Arthas, but was ultimately slain by the hands of his own pupil. This of course is a very, very brief look into the history of this symbol of the Alliance. For more information on Uther, there is a link in the description below. Uther's role in the Nexus. This mighty hero is a support class on paper, but I like to look at him more as a frontline utility healer. What I mean by this is he has a lot more to offer than just raw healing power. Which don't get me wrong, his heals are great, but with his ability to interrupt enemy teams with his heals, stuns, and the sturdiness to take quite a beating. Being a paladin, his playstyle suits the name very well, and I find him to be one of if not my favourite support characters in Heroes of the Storm. The battle begins in ten seconds. Uther's abilities. Holy Light. Uther's Why main healing to... ability. While it does have a 12 second cooldown, which is a bit long, but it is a powerful healing spell nonetheless. Note, this ability has a hefty mana cost, so try to use it when it's most needed. Holy Radiance. This skill shot damage heal hybrid is a very interesting ability. Healing all allies in its path while at the same time dealing damage to enemies caught the path as well. This can lead to relieving pressure from your allies and at the same time turning engagements in their favor. Combo this with your Q ability for some great burst healing. Hammer of Justice. This ability is both loved and hated by players and heroes of the storm. Dealing damage and stunning the opponent for one second every eight seconds. Coupled with its very low mana cost, spamming this ability whilst you are balls deep in the front line is not only fun, but stunning an opponent who just tried to use their heroic ability can save lives. Note, the Hammer of Justice does have a short range, but you are a paladin lumberjack. Range isn't an issue. Uther's trait is eternal devotion. There is no rest when bringing light's justice upon your enemies. Upon death, Uther becomes an invulnerable spirit for 10 seconds, still able to auto-attack and cast all your abilities, for 50% reduced damage. I like to prevent people from mounting, you know, because I can. Uther's first heroic ability is Divine Shield, granting yourself or an ally invulnerability, increasing their movement speed by 20% for 3 seconds. I won't really go into this one, as his second heroic ability really puts this one to shame. Divine Storm. Low mana, 70 second cooldown, dealing AoE damage topped with a 1.5 second stun. I have witnessed this ability be the main cause of many enemy teams being dominated so many times. With a great animation, sound clip and just pure utility, Divine Storm is simply a must take for any would be hero of the light. I will only be including one talent build for this video, as I play Uther the same way every game. Focusing on team fights and being the best damn support I can be, dropping hammers of light and just interrupting the enemy, is for me at least, the best way to play this hero. So at level 1, we will be taking Conjurer's Pursuit. With every 3 health globes obtained, you will be increasing your mana regen by a small amount, permanently. Seems small to begin with, but is very helpful later in the game. Level 4, it's Hammer of the Lightbringer. Hitting enemies in the face with your Righteous Mace, or Axe, will net you a sweet 5 mana per basic attack. Since you're in the frontline healer, I really like this talent. 
Then at level 7, I'd like to take Wave of Light. Each unit healed, including minions and mercs, will return 10 mana and lower the cooldown of your Holy Radiance by 1 second, maxing out at 50 return mana and with a 5 second cooldown reduction. Never ever take Rebuke. Your team will hate you if you do. Then here it is, at level 10 brings Divine Storm. If you haven't noticed by now, I have a slight bias towards this ability because it is just that good in my opinion. Using this ability with the proper timing with your allies can bring some crazy team plays and enemy deaths. Now level 13 is a tricky one, with a choice of 3. Depending on team composition, Spell Shield is great when facing enemy teams that include surprise assassins, such as Nova and Zeratul. Dropping their out of stealth burst damage by 50% can really save your life. Then there's Sprint, an all round great option for retreat as Uther does not have a lot of outs outside of his stun. Then there is Shrink Ray, able to net your team a kill on a fleeing enemy or save an ally's life by slowing the attacker by 50% and reducing his damage by 50%. It's a tough choice so I tend to mix this one up game to game. 16. Hardened Focus It's just amazing, while at 80% life or above, lowering the cooldown rate of all your heals and stuns by 50% is borderline broken. A must take for any support character. Now, level 20, I have a point to make here. Resurgence of the Storm is obviously the auto take here, but I will not be having it in this guide. I won't go into detail, but I feel this ability is far too powerful and needs to be removed or changed. So in saying that, my bias is going to show again and I'll be taking Divine Hurricane, increasing the radius of your Divine Storm by 100% and lowering its cooldown to 50 seconds from 70. Such a great ability, and this just makes it better. So, that is Uther, symbol of the Alliance and all-around good guy. With powerful heals and amazing utility, this hero is a delight <laughs> to play, and I would recommend him to new players who are still learning the mechanics of the game, as he is a very straightforward support hero. And at the fingertips of an experienced player, well, this paladin will help you win a war against evil. So please let me know your thoughts guys, and what builds or talents you enjoy most. I enjoy hearing from you all in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos, and as always, good luck, have fun.